Yo, what's going on guys? JBH here and today I am back once again on F1 2020 where I'm going to be hitting up the Belgian Grand Prix. This is one of the few races that is actually going ahead in 2020. So far this season in this career mode that I've got going on on the channel, I've had a couple sort of up and down results. I've managed to get two podiums, which in an Alpha Tauri is uh, <laughs> a little bit suspect, but... Other than that, we've had some runs down the sort of back of the field, just stupid mistakes on my part. However, as you can see, it is Spa and it is pissing it down. So this is going to be tough. This is going to be not easy, mainly due to the fact that I have a pretty much dry setup from practice, basically qualifying. The first session was dry, went out on a dry setup, put it like third or fourth, uh, managed to get through to Q2 quite easily. Then at the start of Q2, it absolutely bucketed it down and I just didn't get my lap in in time when the sort of track was still remotely dry, which meant that I just didn't make it down to Q or through to Q3. So I am starting down the back, and I have no idea what our pace is going to be like in the rain. As you can see, it's properly hammering it down uh, there right now. <laughs> now, another thing in today's video, I don't have my sort of webcam set up like I usually do. Unfortunately, it is a 1,000 degrees over here in the UK right now, so I'm currently racing in my underwear. <laughs> it's just so ridiculously hot. I mean, in this country, I've, I've raised in Australia, Australia where you have aircon, you know, in America you have aircon over here. It's only hot enough for like a week to actually, well, a week in the entirety of the whole year. So I only need aircon like, you know, for a couple of days and I could really use it right now. But anyway, so the point is I'm sweltering in here. I'm going to try and keep an eye on my uh, PC temperature because it's, it's absolutely blowing in the background here. But Anyway, that's enough of that. Let's get into today's race. So 50% race distance, 100% on the difficulty, 10% below what the max is. I've got the damage set to simulation. Race strategy is looking like a one-stop. I don't know if it's, it looks like it may dry up towards the end. But as I said, I've got a completely dry setup on. So, um, yeah, this is going to be very interesting. As you can see, I'm not allowed to change anything. Park Ferme regulations don't allow you to change anything once you get into the race. So I probably should have gone and found a wet setup to run just through that first session in Q1. But anyway, we'll see how it goes. That's enough talk. Head off on this formation lap. Starting all the way down in 14th. Oh, my days. This is going to this is gonna be tough. This is going to be a tough one. Pad two races so far this year and or this season in the in the rain first one was at albert park in melbourne the first race of the year that was uh yeah that was not easy but around here you know low aero as it is it's oop, yeah, make sure i don't hit anyone and into turn one but yeah definitely the low downfall setup around here is makes it hard enough through the corners that it is let alone going up through eau rouge in the wet and over radion this is going to be a an interesting first lap. Alrighty, lining up. As you can see, it is just, it's ridiculous. Like, this is going to be, uh, the run down Kimmel Strait, I'm just, I doubt I'm going to see anything, but <laughs> look for the red flashy lights, try and avoid them, look for the braking zones. And yeah, turn one is always a little bit messy around here. Here we go, Formula One, Belgian Grand Prix, F1 2020. Oh, lights, man, they held those for a while. Almost jump start there. Oh, so bad at getting this thing off the line in the dry, let alone in the wet. Oh, everyone's at a standstill. Let's see if we sneak around the outside. Oh, jeez, man. Hello. All right, I can just about make up, make out the Force India in front of us, but oh, man, really struggling for traction. All right, Eau Rouge, ready on. Oh my God, this is. Oh, Jesus. Don't die. Ah, who's hitting me? Someone's hitting me. Oh my god, they're three wide in front of me. This is nuts. <laughs> Hold on to it, lads. Where's the braking zone? I'm just guessing. I'm just guessing. Oh no. Almost had to straight line that one. Oh man, I cannot see squat. It's not been the finest of first laps, but I'm just trying to stay on the track right now. Dropped a, well, I dropped one position. A little bit of contact down the Kimmel straight, but just yeah, trying to see where I'm going. Just, just that's the hardest part right now. I uh, just don't have downforce. 
practice, I was so much quicker than everyone else down the straight just because I've got no wing on this car at all, but big mistake not changing the setup before that first qualifying session. Oh, hello. Jesus. Hold on to it. Far out, man. It's like driving on ice. Got to protect those rear tyres. Wheel spinning it. We'll chew them up. 22 laps of this. This is going to be a long one, lads. This is not going to be easy. Now, this is where I'm going to make my time back if I'm going to make any time in this race. Oh, that's a curb. Woo -hoo, woo -hoo. Oh, breathe. Far out. I was originally planning to do a full weekend's worth of racing around here and sort of do my usual recreation of the Grand Prix weekend with Formula 3, Formula 2 and the Porsche Super Cup, but unfortunately the Porsche mod and the F3 mod on R-Factor 2 didn't work on the track and on well, the track mod that I had and Formula 2 first race I forgot to <laughs> start the recording so it's just Formula 1 this weekend oh my oh, yeah, that's just that's ridiculous how the hell am I going to hold on to it through there for the next 20 laps wow we are, we are in for a long day here just need to get a feel for the grip levels and then we can start to push forward but yeah, I'm struggling right now there's no grip in this thing whatsoever yeah for, I still did run the Formula 2 races and absolutely demolished the field won both the feature and the sprint race although it was both dry but find the AI don't run much wing around here. Oh, sorry, they probably run a little bit too much wing compared to what they should be. So absolutely tearing away down the straight. But as you can see in the wet, it's gone the opposite. Yeah, let's just try and hold on for as long as I can. Just not fence it, that's the main thing. Right. Teammate is getting away. Surprised we haven't been hounded by the guys behind, but trying to hold it flat out through here without hitting that curb. Ah, so much oversteer. Ah, sorry. Well, it's understeering on the slow stuff and then oversteering on the fast stuff. need to get to grips with the grip level right now just slowly easing the throttle on out the corner but as you can see a huge gaining from the cars behind oh, just straight line that one no worries so the track is actually starting to slowly dry up the rain has eased off and as you can see the there is somewhat of a dry line forming right now. But, yeah, for the most part, it's still very wet. Getting close to intermediates, though. So we'll see when that happens. But, as you see, I'm managing to also catch Magnuson in front of us. There's a large group of cars down the road. So I'm hoping we can hopefully do some of them in the next stop. But... Definitely now the track's gripping up quite a bit. I am getting that pace back that I had earlier on in the weekend. But this is... Oh my Jesus. It's just... I'm barely even turning the wheel through there and it's... It's loose. <laughs> Let's see if we can get Magnuson in the next lap or so. No DRS, obviously. Already, 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 a uh, quarter of the way through this one. It's a quick race around here. It's just because the track is so flat out. You spend so much time full throttle. You cover the distance so much quicker than other tracks. I believe, um, I think Singapore is still the longest race of the season. That just seems to drag on and on and on forever, but. 
Definitely got some of that Singapore humidity right now in the UK. Yeah, second sector is where I'm struggling right now. Just don't have the sheer downforce. Use that curb. Carding style. I don't think the actual outside carding lines work like they do in real life. But it's amazing how much more ERS you generate or just... Or, well, you're able to use just through the constant regeneration because you spend so much time off the throttle. Oh, that's deep. That's very deep. That's way too deep. Oh, I'll have to give that one back. Oh, come on. Five seconds. Are you kidding me? I barely even cut it. Well, I mean, I did, but... <laughs> All right, well, that's something we're going to have to deal with on the next stop. Far out, man. I can't judge my distances. I didn't touch... Did I touch him? Oh, shit. All right, I seem to have lost all ability to drive in the last half of that lap. I don't know what happened there. Oh, hello. Hello. Oh, hold on to it. Far out, man. Oh. I feel like I was lost the cliff of the tyre in that second half of that last lap. Focus. Ah, oh, come on. A new strategy is available on the MFD. Copy. Alright, so I think we're boxing this lap for inters. Box this lap. Pitting this lap then. Come into the pits at the end of this lap. All right, so pitting four inters. I'm going to serve that five second penalty, of course, so that's going to set us back quite a bit, but hopefully we can get out, get some pace on the out lap and make up some of the time that we're going to lose in the pit lane. Oh man, it's not been the best drive from myself so far. Go, go, go. All right, we'll, we'll do what we can. Up to speed now. Let's get some heat into those tyres. Yeah, hang on. Definitely forgot to turn the limiter off. Come on, Joseph, focus. All right, let's go. Head down, no mistakes from here. Tell I could really use as a bloody safety car. That'd be well handy right about now. All right, see if we're gonna deal with any traffic on pit exit. No. Oh, safety car, please. Safety car. Need a safety car. I need a safety car. Oh, damn, I really needed that safety car. The TV on wet. Why is he on wet? It's interesting.
light rain will stay with us for at least 20 minutes, maybe more. Light rain is here to stay. Alright, so it looks like we're going to be on these inters for a while. Come on. Okay, that was off putting. Magnuson is in the pits. Oh, Thus slap the race. You oh, beat Magnuson out as well. Bonus. Oh Jesus Christ, man. Stop fucking putting myself in a situation where I'm going to be in an ambulance. Alright, so halfway through now, three seconds behind my teammate getting pretty close. Hopefully we can get into the points by the end of this one. Not overly long left, but still plenty of time to gain some more positions. Definitely, actually the fastest car out on track right now. Set the Last lap of the race last time, but it is getting slowly drier each lap, so we'll see what happens. Plenty of ways to go yet, to be fair. You're doing well out I mean, nine laps is a long way around here. Ten more minutes of rain. Ten minutes. And as you heard, we may be getting on slicks at some point, which is even better for us. What we really could use is a safety car to punch the pack up. It's telling me to pit this lap, but the tyres are still virtually brand new, so... I ain't pitting any time soon, not until it's dry. I'm hoping we will have to make another pit stop, because I came quite early for the Inters compared to some of the other guys. Which is going to hamper us in the long run a bit. Alright, come on. Have to make quick work of gasoline and get on to the others. Oh. Aero wash. Oh, 206, 207, 208 in the rain. Yeehaw! Can't get close enough to make a lunge. Aero wash is deadly. Let's get a good run out of here, come on. Let's go. Struggling to get close. Oh, hello. 
Ooh, make a move. Yeah, boys. Got him. Oh, he's actually pitted in the mine. All right, now Vettel's on new tyres. There's no way we're going to be able to hold on to him. Uh, I'll do the best that I can, but yeah. Just deciding whether we go to the end. Do I pit now? What's the tyres like? 33. So they should be able to go to the end. Those six laps around here, that's a that's a long way. It's going to be a bit of a gamble. going to be a, a tough call. Ooh. Munch them curbs. Uh, come out. Bit of a scrabble here. Oof. Hold on to it. Just about managed to hold on to the back of this slot in front of us. Which is pretty good. Oh, set the fast lap of the race as well. So, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to stay out until the... Oh, my God, that was ridiculously close. All right, come on, Joseph, focus. No issues with tire wear for now. Keep taking care of yeah, I'm going to stay out to the end here and just see what we can do on this old tire. I'm just straight lighting that as much as I can because I do not trust turning the wheel in this car right now. <laughs> it does not feel safe at all. Look at the Red Bull and the Ferrari going at it. It's going to help us out. Come on, let's make a move. Okay, it's getting close to slicks now. Yeah, it's getting very close to slicks. It looks like we'll be running on a dry track soon. Back to dry shortly. Hmm. Do I gamble now or do I? I don't know. Is a proper gamble. Oh, dearest enable, that's going to help us out. Alright, so box this lap. I'm gonna gamble. Fucking hell. Okay, this is Jeff. I need you to stop cutting the corners. If you keep it up, the stewards will award you a penalty. Yeah, damn straight. A new strategy is available on the MFD. I was gonna say it just looks like it's just started pissing it down again. You know, it's not it. No, I'm not going to pit. No, I just said I'm not going to pit, you twat. <laughs> I just don't see pitting. I'm not going to make that time back up in three laps. F 
far out. That tire wear's bad, though. No, I'm gonna have to do it. That's some... Oh, I don't know what to do! Because if it does go dry, then I'm probably gonna blow these tires out. I mean, I was... Yeah, no, I feel like I've got no grip as it is. Yeah, we'll pit this lap. I'm gonna have to do it. Just gonna have to do it. Yeah. Looks like it's probably about time we change tires. It's a bit of a crossover period for sure, but the longer we stay out, the worse it's gonna get. I, just, I have no intermediate left as it is. All right, come on, guys. Let's make this quick. Nine, not overly quick, but not terrible. All right, come on, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, let's see how slippery this is. Okay, stay clear of the white line on the exit. We'll receive a penalty for dangerous driving if you cross over into the track. All right, it's gonna have to be the laps of my life here. Three to go. Let's use everything we have. Keep an eye on that fuel, actually, to be honest, as well. Yeah, they're going to have to pit. There's no way you can do another three laps around here on inters. Lighting up the time screens. I've already caught Ricardo a good sort of three, four seconds just on this lap alone. Surely they're going to have to pit. There's an apex back over there somewhere. Oh, no. Oh, shit. Far out. No. You idiot, Joseph. Oh, I can't believe I just did that. Got on the curb, wheel spun, that was it. I'm just gonna have to stay out now. No point pitting and getting a new wing. Hopefully you can stay ahead of Raikkonen. Can't believe I just did that, what a twat. Monumental idiot. No. I have to do one whole lap of spa without my front wing. This is going to be interesting.
Oh god. That was interesting. Ah, uh, should have had eighth, should have had eighth, but oh well. Let's see if we can just hold on to tenth right now. This is just like driving in the wet again. <laughs> Poor front tires are gonna be chewed up. Yeah. Thing is, I would have had the fastest lap as well, which would have gained us more points. Ah, uh, did not need to have done that. Shit, Rockin's actually getting pretty close now. Come on. Alex Albon won. Wow. Oh, actually, no. I don't think we would have had the fast slap because Hamilton's on. Must be on the slicks as well. What a weird race. Uh, oh, could have been worse. Weird, weird race. Anyway, round the final corner, through the bus stop one last time, without a front wing, which is actually not too bad in the slow stuff. It's just the fast stuff, but it's just uh, beyond weird. But anyway, across the line, ninth place finish. Not bad considering we started down in 14th, 15th or whatever, so we, at least we moved forward, got some points, but yeah, definitely not what I was hoping for considering the pace I had at the start of the weekend. But with the weather, anything can sort of happen. Five place, uh, sorry, five second penalty mixed with a uh, mistake there on the second last lap yeah just wasn't meant to be today i suppose but we'll move on to the next one anyway yeah that is that thanks guys for tuning in today hope you enjoyed today's video subscribe to watch more throughout 2020 i'm gonna be hitting up the which series hitting up next Got, oh yeah, heading back over to a set of course at Competizione. We're gonna recreate the Suzuka 10 hour. That's gonna be interesting. Back in the GT3 cars. Love Assetto Corsa Competizione. By far and away the best simulator out there right now, in my opinion. Just in terms of realism and graphics, anything that holds back is the lack of content because of course it's only GT3 and GT4. But yeah, anyway, that's that. Until then, catch you guys later.